What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. I want to have to talk a little NBA. James Harden, the beard, is the best player in the NBA. And he's been the best player in the NBA probably the last four to five seasons. I know a lot of people are going to be like, what? What are you talking about? Kevin Durant is the best player in the NBA. LeBron James is the best player in the NBA. Last year, Giannis Atipika Upo, as I butcher his name, let me just call him the Greek freak, won the MVP. I understand all that. But James Harden is the best player in the NBA. Let's look at his stats so far this season. The man is averaging 38.7 points per game. That's eight clear of the second leading scorer in Damon Dollar, Damon Lillard, at 30.5 points per game. A full eight points more than the second leading scorer in the NBA. The guy is averaging 7.9 assists a game. That's, number, that's sixth in the NBA so far this season. The guy is averaging 1.8 steals per game. That's sixth in the NBA. Oh, but he don't play no defense. That's a tired argument by the old school media that they, they ain't been paying attention. Yeah, that was uh, the case probably about three years ago. He wasn't playing defense because he had to carry so much of the load on offense that he took a lot of defensive possessions off. Yeah, you had a good point then. But the last three years, if you're still saying that he, he's a bad defensive player and he don't play defense, that's a tired argument. You ain't been watching uh, James Harden play basketball the last three years. So that's a tired old and wrong argument as of right now. A bit basically been going on the last three seasons. Look at his defensive rating. Last year, I think his defensive rating was 41 in the NBA. Do you know it's over 200 players in the NBA right now? You know, you got what? What you got? 30 teams. You got um, 15 players on the roster, 12 men uh, actively uh, per game. You got 15 on the roster. Just time that by 30. 30 times 15, you do the math. I, I, I think I shortchanged to say there was 200 players in the NBA. It's probably more, it's more than 200 players in the NBA. You know, it's more closer to 400 players in the NBA. And he was ranked number 41 in defensive rating. You know, you know that he was um, one of the leaders in deflections. You know, I think he's top seven in deflections last season. He was top uh, one of the leaders in uh, defensive loose balls, getting to defensive loose balls. He can guard multiple positions. He can guard. He can be. He's a perimeter defender. He can guard guards. He can guard small forwards on perimeter, and he can guard big men. Because the Rockets do a lot of switching, so a lot of times their guards ends up on big men in the post. And him and Eric Gordon do a good job of bodying up big men, getting into their legs, and uh, pushing them right outside the paint, right outside that comfort zone and making them harder to score inside and take advantage of their height and length over uh, Harden and uh, Eric Gordon. So he's a good defensive player in the post and he's a good defensive player in the perimeter. So the guy is a complete player. You know, people want to bring up other players saying when, when it comes to who's the best player, they, they very rarely bring up James Harden. You know, last, you know, the hot guy right now is Kawhi Leonard. Oh, he's the best player in the NBA. Now that Kevin Durant's heard and they – they feel that James, that uh, LeBron James is getting a little bit long in the tooth. Missed the playoffs last season. You know, Kawhi Leonard being the uh, NBA Finals MVP, and he went on a, a great run last year in the playoffs as he knocked out the MVP and the Greek Freak in the Eastern Conference Finals, and he took down the dynasty uh, in Golden State Warriors in the NBA Finals. You know, even though the Warriors were – Injured, Kevin Durant only played one game in one quarter of one game and was hurt as he uh, blew out his Achilles. Uh, you know, he got hurt, and uh, Clay Thompson got hurt in uh, at the end of uh, game six. He got hurt, tore his uh, ACL that he's uh, still rehabbing from, and he won't be back till maybe uh, middle to late part of this season. So they had a lot of injuries that they had to deal with. But give uh, Toronto credit. They got through the East. And they got to uh, beat the Golden State Warriors. No matter how hobbled they were, they was able to defeat them. And Kawhi Leonard was the best player in that series, no doubt about it. But we're talking about the whole season. We're not just talking about the playoffs. We're talking about the whole season. And even last year, Kawhi Leonard missed, what, 20 games because of load management? This year, he's not playing in any back-to-back -back games because of load management. And they're trying to keep him fresh. But James Harden don't believe in no load management. He believes in playing all 82 games if he can. He don't believe in load management. You know, he believes in uh, playing the full season, you know, playing the long grind of the NBA, not taking any games off, and playing at a high level. So uh, 
James Harden is the best player in the NBA, folks. He's been the best player in the NBA for a while now. People don't want to give him his credit or his just due. A lot of people say, oh, man, he always got the ball. He's got a high usage rate. Okay, let's go back to earlier this season when uh, Steph Curry was a long ranger as uh, Kevin Durant left and went to Brooklyn. Um, Clay Thompson was, uh, you know, not playing because he's still recovering from the uh, torn ACL. And they had brought in uh, Russell, D'Angelo Russell, and they still had uh, the, 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 the classic junk man, the classic trash man, and Draymond Green, the classic dirty work player, but he ain't the guy that you can allow him to put up a lot of points. But he's going to get you 12, 13 points, 7, 8 rebounds, and uh, 7, 8 assists. He's that type of player. You had him on the thing, and a lot of people were like, well, why don't you just uh, use uh, Steph Curry like uh, the Rockets used James Harden? That's what they asked Steve Curry. You know, you know, put put the ball in his hands and run a lot of pick and roll, run a lot, you know, bring him off a lot of screens and let him put up about 30 shots a game and let him have a high usage rate like uh, James Harden. You know what uh, – Steve Kerr said, that's Steph Curry coach. Golden State Warriors coach uh, St uh, Steve, Steve Kerr. You know what he said? He said he's not James Harden. He's not going to be able to do that. He don't have the body, first of all, to do with James Harden. He's a little guy, frail. You know, he's not as big. He, don't, he can't take the punishment James Harden take. And he's not he's not that type of player. He's not a guy that's going to put up 30 shots and be effective. He's got to get uh, – he's, he's a more of a uh, – he's a guy that likes to shoot. Don't get me wrong, but he's more of an efficient uh, shooter. He's a more of an efficient scorer. You know, you need him to be shooting maybe 20 to 22 times a game where he can be effective. You start putting up 30 shots a game, his uh, field goal percentage is going to go out and his uh, effectiveness is going to go down. Steve, Hurst, Steve Kerr said that. He said that. He said he can't do that. So that lets you know the greatness of James Harden. James Harden can do that when the defenses are focused on him. He's asked to carry a high load for the offense. He's taking a lot of contact going to the rim. You know, he's he's getting uh he's got a man on him and he's got another defender shadowing his area, ready to come help if he does get by his man. He's the uh, number one uh, offensive weapon that the other teams uh, focus on, trying to slow down or uh, 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 try to uh, try to negate. And he's still putting up these numbers, 38.7 points a game. Not nobody, people could, you put any other superstar, maybe James, maybe LeBron James when he was young. I don't think any LeBron James can do that. You would give anybody else the usage rate with a ball in their hand and, and uh, ask to carry the offense like James Harden, they, they, their numbers would would not be comparable to James Harden. You let you put the ball in the Kawhi Leonard hand, he's not putting up 38 points a game like they put the ball in James Harden's hand. You put the ball in Steph Curry's hand, He's not going to be able to put up them numbers. He's going to end up getting hurt because he's not going to be able to take the contact, the physicality, and he's, and he's not going to be as effective. You put uh, LeBron James, maybe three or four years ago, LeBron James probably could do this. He probably could be the one to do this. He's got the skill level and he's got the um, he's got the frame, body frame to take the contact, and he probably could put up the similar numbers. I don't know if he could put up the, as far as the 38 points a game like Harden, but he could put up similar numbers like maybe 30 a game, you know, with the rebounds and assists. He could do that maybe – I ain't gonna say four or five years ago. He probably could do that two or three years ago. But right now, I don't think I think he would break down over a 82 game season. I think he would have to take some games off, and he could he would be dealing with uh, nagging injuries if he tried to do that. So I'm just saying, man, James Harden is the best player in the NBA. People don't want to give him his credit. They want to talk about he's uh, he don't play defense. But I just showed you the metrics, his defensive ratings, and that's that's no longer the case. He's a he's a he's a average to above average defensive player. He's the best offensive player in the game today. He's the best player in the NBA today. And he's and nobody on any team in the NBA has asked the asked the, the teams uh, organization are asking them to do what James Harden is doing for the Rockets. He's been doing it for a long time without. A uh, uh, so-called great superstar on his side until uh, Chris Paul came there two years ago. He was doing it by himself when uh, Steph Curry had Klay Thompson, then he had Kevin Durant, had Draymond Green, LeBron James had Kyrie Irving, then he had uh, Dwayne. Before that, he had Dwayne Wade. Now he's got Anthony Davis. The one year he didn't have all that, what happened? They missed the playoffs last season. LeBron James. You can say, oh, he got hurt. They made it, really made the playoffs. When he came back and they went, what, 28 and 27. So they were a mediocre team when he was there. You know, so, it, you know, and they was on a uh, track not to make the playoffs before he got injured. People don't want to talk about that. They want to use it, uh, LeBron James' injury as the reason why they didn't make the playoffs. They were on track to miss the playoffs before LeBron James got hurt. Nobody want to talk about that. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. People are missing the greatness of James Harden. He's going to be one of them players when he's gone and retired. 
that's when he's going to probably get his love, get his just due. People going to be like, man, this guy was a special player, man. Look at the stats he put up. Nobody is able to do what he done, you know, with the usage race that he had and the, uh, the, 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 the offensive uh, load that he's carrying. Nobody is able to uh, duplicate what he's done, man. And uh, it's a shame this guy not getting his just due and his credit, man. But I'm here to give him his just due and his credit. James Harden is the best player in the NBA. If you disagree, leave a comment in the comment section. Follow me on uh, Instagram, JBSports713. Follow me on Twitter, JBSports, the man. And subscribe to JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holler.